Hi, it's Colin Kelly here with Do Business Smarter. What I want to cover in this video, a question we get asked a lot is how do you create a landing page so people can put their email address in and get to a page where they're going to download something or to watch a video. So I'll just show you what we do really quick. Um, I mean, obviously there's a huge focus on um, our microwave marketing strategy where people are able to give you their contact information in return for something that's a high value or high perceived value for a low risk. So this is an example of one that we have where we advertise on Facebook for people to download our 36 point small business success checklist and you put in your email address put in the email address and your name and it says access your free checklist now and then it brings you to a page where you can download the checklist in this case we're promoting our upcoming one day business blast but at the top of the page here's the download and you click on that and it downloads the the checklist and the PDF and when you do that now I've gotten their email address I've gotten their name and I can start into a drip campaign to see if they're interested in you know building that relationship and getting turning them into hot prospects so let me back up and show you how we set that up and I don't know what tools you have available to you um, but we use um, Optimize, we are, our, our website is obviously on WordPress the tool we use is Optimize Press but you don't necessarily need that and in our example I'm going to show you how we set this up I'm just going to show you if you're on Zoho Zoho CRM and if, if, you, then if that's the only tool you have how we how we set this up so first thing we do is we go in and create a um, a new page because we need to have a page where the file that we want people to download is going to be available on so assuming you've created a PDF or a video or whatever I'm just gonna do this as if it's a as if it's a real simple uh, PDF or something that people are going to download and so, well, actually, let me back. Okay, so you're on your, on the page you want to create, and we're just going to call this the download page. And I'm going to do this without Optimize Press. Optimize Press does make it a lot easier, but I'm just going to do this as if you're making it as a WordPress page. And I'm going to do it real simple. So, um, regardless of what tools you have available to you, you can see kind of the the process. So I'm calling it the download page and in here I'm going to put in click here to download your free PDF, whatever your super cool offer was. And you know, get whatever secret, whatever checklist, whatever your your cool thing was. You know, get the seven secrets of whatever. Obviously, it needs to be something a lot more powerful than that, but I want to make this just real simple, real quick. And then you're going to have a link. Click here to download your free PDF. Okay? So that link, we want to make sure that link is going to let them download the document so in this case we need to know what is the document that we're going to have them download what I would do you're gonna to go to your media library and open it in a new tab so I don't come away from this page and assuming that I've already uploaded my PDF into the media library it will come up um, with all the th items that are in your media library if you haven't already uploaded it you can simply go add new and you can upload the file right there but let's assume that we already have it uploaded and in this case I want to give people a link to our customer service plan PDF and up here on your media library it's going to give you a direct link to that document so I'm going to highlight that link this is the link that a person would need to download it 
So now I've copied that URL that's in this box in the media in the media library. I'm going to go back over to the new page I'm creating and I'm saying click here to download your free PDF. So I want to make a link. I'm going to create that text as a hyperlink to that document. So I paste in that URL into that document and then you can add any graphics and cool pieces there so this is the page that so now I'm going to I'm going to create that page so I'll publish that page that will get published let me make sure that it actually is there so we'll take a look at that in a new tab just to make sure it's there and here it is the download page get the seven secrets of whatever click here to download your free PDF and if I click on that there it is okay I've downloaded the free PDF and so <clears throat> let me come back now to our uh, WordPress dashboard so I have that page and I need to know this URL for this to work so that's where you want them to end up so I'm going to copy that link to that page which is right here and so now I want to set up the form that they're going to fill out to get that PDF. So, again, if you're using Optimized Press or Lead Pages or something like that, it's very simple and they have very nice graphics. I'm just going to show you um, on a very simple form on using a Zoho uh, CRM. So, I'm going to go to my setup in Zoho. I'm going to go to web forms. I'm going to create a new lead form because I wanted to come in and actually make sure that it enters their information into the into my Zoho CRM. And so we'll say let's get started. I want them to come in as a new lead and I want them to give me their name and their email address. So I'm going to drag, I'm in web forms and I'm going to drag over their email address and maybe we're going to ask them for their first name, their last name. So as an example you could decide whatever ones you want to have in there and it's going to be a submit button and I'm quite happy with how you know, I can take a preview of how that looks right here and that's fine again this is a very simple Zoho form we we'll go next step and it's I'm gonna call this my demo form so the landing page where are they going to go after they have submitted the form and so this is where I'm going to put in that URL of the download page that we just created because this is where I want them to arrive to after they have submitted their information on the page. The next piece it asks for is what's the form location? Well, and, and I know from experience that you can have this be anywhere, so what I typically just enter here is an asterisk. And we're not going to assign it to, you know, I'm going to assign it to myself. I'm not assigning any rules. That's getting into more Zoho stuff than you need. And I can have it be, do I want to notify the lead owner? Yes, I'd like an email when somebody um, does fill out the form so I'm notified. And do I want to send an email back to the person who actually filled it out? And so I could say, yes, I do want them to get an email. Um, and I want them to get one of my email templates so I want them to receive a template that says uh, let me find one of my templates and it's going to be something called it's about a webinar maybe it's an invitation to a webinar save so now what Zoho does it gives me the information the, the code that I need to be able to place this form on my website it's a WordPress website so I'm gonna go to WordPress. I'm going to take the source code. I'm going to copy that source code 
and done. So now I have in my, I have the source code to be able to create the page for the form. So now I come back to my WordPress dashboard. I'm going to create a new page because this is where I'm going to put in the information for the, the this is the landing page that would go to, to fill in the form. I'm just going to call this landing page. And in here, I'm going to put in the, I believe I need to put it in as text. Okay, so I'm on the um, options for WordPress. How do I want to put this on my website? If you have a different type of website, you have options for how you're doing it there. Um, but I'm on a WordPress website, and so I'm going to embed this form into my WordPress. And I'm going to direct, just embed it directly into the page. And I'll show you. We're going to copy this page. Now, if I'm using uh, something like Lead Pages or Optimized Press, I'm probably going to use the source code and put it into their file because that'll pull the fields from there. Or I can put it in as, a, as an iframe. I'm just going to put it directly as an embed into the um, into the web page. So I'm going to come over to the page that I'm building and on the text tab, not on the visual tab, on the text tab I'm going to take that line of code that I just had and I'm going to paste it into the text tab. And if I come to the visual side now you'll see I'm not going to see anything. But on the text side that script is in there and I can preview how it's going to look. It'll open up a new tab and it will preview how that page is going to look for me and here it is. Here's my landing page. Now I know this looks silly but I'm just doing a real basic one. Demo form, email, last name, first name. And now it... I'm going to publish that page and so now if I go to this link so let me open a new tab let me go to that link so I see here's my landing page again I have no graphics in here all these other pieces are just pieces from our basic setup on our website but this is what we just created it's our demo form and I put in my email address and I say it's test2 at do business smarter And my first name is Colum. And my last name is Kelly. I'm going to call it Kelly7 because I know there's a lot of those in my database already. And submit. Now you'll notice it takes a second and then it comes over to the page that we told it to go to. Okay. So again, if I go back a page, let me see if I can do this. On this landing page, this would be, you know, enter your email address to get this cool thing, okay? It wouldn't just say demo form. You'd have your heading and your, your teaser content here. And then you will, they, once they fill it in, they will come to the download page and get the seven secrets of whatever. Click here to download your free PDF. And there they have it, it downloaded. But here's what I want you to notice. If we come over now to my Zoho CRM, and if I look at leads, there's column Kelly 7 as a new lead. This is now in my CRM system. Okay. And I believe I got in my email notification how to uh, that I have a new lead. So I got email that I have a new lead. Then here's the details of the lead that was submitted to the website. Okay. I also, here's the email being followed up on marketing your photography business. That was the webinar that I, the link that I used as the example. And so I got, me as the client, I got that email. I've been notified that um, there's a new lead in the system. So with that simple setup, the client, the prospect came to my landing page. I had some super duper offer that they wanted to give me their contact information they got to the download page they got their free PDF they downloaded it and 
it was entered their information was entered into the Zoho CRM and they received a template email from the system and I got notified that they were in the system that's a very simplified version there's no graphics or anything like that um, but in terms of the technology using Zoho CRM in combination with landing page um, it shows you how to step through that so hopefully that's helpful to make it graphically pleasing and make the form nicer looking etc that's what we use optimized press for and I'll just show you real quick uh, the difference in um, you know and what I like about the optimized press part so if you have optimized press is a plugin that we use you can it's also our our um, theme that we use for our website but lead pages is also can do the same thing so on optimized press I would go into page builder and I'd give the page a name whatever that name is going to be I'd select what type of page I want it to be it is a landing page clean video landing page or report opt-in page so maybe it's that and proceed to step two and it comes up with a template already created for me and in here I can then put in the script that I want for that form so I would put in that content information into this form which looks a lot prettier I put in the content from my Zoho CRM using their process here and it would um, do the same thing but it looks a lot a lot prettier so that's why I like Optimize Press landing pages does it very well also they're both very popular programs but hopefully that gives you some steps to follow in the process so thanks a million hope it was helpful see you on the next video